Buongiorno e benvenuti a Aprilia. Welcome to Andrea Karting Raceway and welcome to my office here at the 1302 metre circle base in northern Italy in the Veneto, Veneto region, just not too far away, around about an hour's drive or so from Marco Polo Airport in Venice. So it's the third round of the season, the titles are heating up and we've got plenty of action coming from around quarter past four on Friday afternoon when live qualifying gets underway. However, you will have already seen the news and obviously due to the increase of positive COVID-19 tests around West uh, continental Europe and also across the globe, we have found that due to the current situation, we cannot provide an official live stream due to some of our team members being unable to make it here to the circuit, which is a shame but we do still have to work around the situation. However, I have the microphone for the track and I will still be doing my job. You'll be able to find out all the latest action from us here at Adria via the links in the description below for uh, the official timetable, the official digital notice board, which will also provide the results, and also our dedicated live timing. So after two rounds, Things have really, really heated up. We've got all six classes of the Rotax Racing family here, Micro and Mini. Both classes, the weekend winners, will receive an international trophy ticket to Portima. The second of three that we are giving away this season. And that event, which was originally scheduled to be at the mark, uh, around about the sort of tail end of July, now heads to Portima between the 8th and the 13th of December this year. So let's have a look at the standings in the other four classes, shall we? At the moment, Kaya Hewitt from Belgium in the 274 is leading the standings at the moment with 95 points. And just behind him, around about 27 points adrift, is Tim Gerhards from the Netherlands in the 205. With Germany's Valentin Plus uh, in the 201 from RS Competition, who recently secured his place at Quality Mile for the Grand Finals at RMC Germany in Wickenmore last week is third in the standings, a further 18 points adrift. Bruno Mollers rounds out the top four. Freddie Spidlow just made a guest appearance, uh, thanks to my inside source of KR Sport. Um, so he will not be taking any further part in the season, he just wanted to drive back as all I was told, and that was it, done and dusted. So uh, thank you, Freddie. Great racing uh, from the young Brit at Pakosov uh, in early September. So it gives an opportunity to the likes of uh, Nick Gerhardt and Carol Schultz to work their way up the, uh, the standings. We then get to see the road stats, and this is really, really where it gets interesting. The first of two title fights that really, really have amped up in terms of both proximity of points between uh, title protagonists, but also the fact that some of the drivers did one-offs, some of the drivers out due to injury, some drivers not able to make it here due to the restrictions. So at the moment, the reigning uh, defending champion for senior roads, that strawberry racing went in the old side in the 300 from Uppsala, leads by just two points. But the two drivers behind are not here this weekend. Mark Kimber, it was a one-off strawberry racing, Dylan LaHaye out with a fractured disc, fractured vertebrae, so we don't know uh, when he's going to be back, so uh, all the very best in recovering, Dylan, we hopefully will see you soon. So it's down to the chaos ball duo of Sean Butcher in the 349 and Lachlan Robinson to try and close the gap to the sweep, with Butcher on 47 points and Lachlan Robinson, who did absolutely brilliant uh, at Marcus Hall, pole position on his 17th birthday and then to two second places in the finals at Bakersdorf. So between the three of them, they're covered by just seven points. Don't count out Denmark's Mantelis from uh, Dames Racing in the 379. He's just a further two points behind Lachlan Robinson. Luca Leister is here, it's from Francis here. Uh, a lot of the British contingent, unfortunately not able to make it due to the current restrictions, but it is still good to see a couple of fellow Brits out there. Um, for those wondering, I have had a COVID test before entering the country, which was proved to be negative, uh, and that was 72 hours before my arrival, within 72 hours of my arrival here. Then we get to DE2, and this is where it gets even more interesting, because 
already this weekend, I have seen Sander Chablac, who leads it by three points. He's on 56 at the moment. Pico from France in the 406. Uh, Nicolas Miko from Dames Racing, just three points behind, as is Pedro Bezel, the current reigning and defending champion. Glenn Rampalais has arrived at the circuit uh, this morning, and I think I've also seen Manuel Tensha. So the top, I've actually even seen Matthias Lund, Florian Weikmar, Silas Litter, Daniel Mamacek. Um, so literally the majority of the top 10 are here. Uh, and with the top six drivers covered by just 14 points at this particular moment, D2 looking rather, rather interesting. And to round off the point standings, uh, we look at the E2 Masters. 46-team Slavomir Malansky from Poland in the 561 comes into this round with a healthy lead of about 25 points. So he's on 81 points. Sebastian Bumbalala in the 509 from Maris competition representing Germany. He's on 56 points with Michael Becker. Roberto Wojcicki not here this weekend. I think it was just a one-off appearance. Rudy Champion is here too. Uh, we've also got Carl Pill, who's down in 15th position. Uh, but a lot of drivers not here. Um, Christoph Adams, Timo Hall, Tom Becerra, Bruno Dos Santos. Uh, we do have a few other new names to bring into the party. So that's really it about the, uh, the point standings. And down in the link in the description below, you'll be able to find the 35 plus minute hi uh, highlights from Bakasov. Apologies for the, the duration it's taken, but I've been over here in Europe for around 20 days. Uh, I've put in over about 3,000 kilometers on my own car, and I think I've still got some more driving to do after this. However, please feel free to interact with us via our relevant social media um, channels, so both Facebook and Instagram. Links in the description down below. So as they say, andiamo, dai, dai, here in Italy for the third round of the season. And with just two weeks to go until we crown our champions in 2020. What can happen here in the Veneto region? We're sure enough going to find out. Thanks for watching. See you very soon. And above all, stay healthy, stay safe, and look after each other. Take care. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.